Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it has happened. P1. P1. Now, I'm not going to brag too much because I can see a couple of D-rated players um, in the lobby as well. Um, whether or not they've just had a, a few bad races or whether or not the um, lobbies are just a little bit empty at the moment um, and they're having to, to make up a few spaces, I don't quite know. But it's pole position nonetheless, so I'm going to take it. Uh, opt in there, as you see, I'm going to start on the mediums. Bit of a gamble. Does open us up to um, yeah, a bit of threat from the, uh, from the chaps behind. However, I'm willing to take the risk. I am willing to take the risk. So, managed to improve and also you will notice that we are in the Audi. So I improved the qualifying time in the Audi and then I thought, let's actually just sort of, I'm now used to the car a little bit I guess because I've done quite a few laps. Um, let's, I've slated it a little bit, let's try and stick with the Audi, let's try and make up for it. I'm a huge Audi fan, so it didn't feel right to be, um, to be slagging it off. Um, it's downside on the energy is sort of made up for in its top speed. Um, you are getting uh, quite a considerable uh, few miles an hour more um, on the on the likes of the back straight and whatnot. The launch does seem to be um, still, you know, pretty decent. But as I say, the Toyota was very much consistent up and through the gears in being able to sort of distribute and. Um, you know, really make the most of the, the, the power and, the, and that battery. However, stop rambling, stop trying to sound like I know what I'm talking about. Let's get on with it. So the chap behind me in the R18 as well. Hmm. How will we get on? I don't have that Porsche at the minute, but um, I think I may go buy it as well. We might give that a bash. I think, however, this may be the final attempt um, of the week on this uh, on this daily race before we uh, start looking forward to next week's daily races as well. So there'll be quite a few of these uploaded, probably about two or three uploads a day over this uh, over this weekend. Here we go then. Squirming for power. We get a decent launch there though. Slightly out breaking. What on earth happened to those guys? We've, we've built up a second gap already. We've got a tremendous launch there. See, start to see them catching up maybe. The plus side, I guess, to the Audi having, you know, kind of prioritising the, the power on those lower gears and those uh, and the, the launch, I guess. Oh, as we outbreak. Oh, we've thrown that away. There we are then. Oh, he's right behind us now again. Oh, I'll break quite a bit there. I think maybe he's a bit whoa, too used to qualifying sessions on the soft tyre. <laughs> so yeah, what I was going to say there was, um, I think that perhaps the uh, the fact that we've got a bit of a shorter run up until you know to sort of turn one to get down onto that straight before uh, Rouge we've used less energy because we've not had as much uh, a distance to travel, so maybe that's why we've got a bit of a gap, created a bit of a gap. The only downside, I guess, to starting out front, and starting on the mediums, is that when we dive into the pits on the softs, well, the chances are that uh, we're going to fall into a little bit of traffic, so we may well end up losing uh, whatever advantage we sort of have. Uh, and that braking distance there reminds me currently that I have my brake bias set to the front. I need to set that all the way at the rear uh, for the purpose of looking after our front tyres. Eight tenth gap made. So this is the top speed that I'm talking about here. You get an extra ten or so miles an hour. I 
exactly the same mistake. Now breaking ourselves at the end of the Kimmel straight. So P2's made a bit of a gap now as well. Needn't remember to break so much earlier and I'm not doing a very good job of it at the moment. I wonder if he's also on the mediums and just trying to look after his tyres a little bit more as well. So it's the pit stop that I'm really going to struggle with because I really don't know, being out front, when is best to pit. You know the undercut works from the back, but beyond that, I don't really know. Another good launch. Breaking quite badly there. We still managed to break away though. That was slipstream as well. Gonna break much, much earlier this time round. One second gap. So it was at the end of this lap that we pitted uh, for that almighty undercut. That is not the strategy that we're going to go for at the moment. Three seconds, 1.5, that's an almighty launch away from there as well. P2 under a bit of pressure there from P3 now. Shouldn't have looked back there because I've missed my braking zone. 1.9 second gap. I feel like pitting at the end of this lap might be the way to go. Two is a button about with my headphones. Come on. 
lost a lot of time there because I made a, made a bit of a silly mistake. I feel like now's the time to pit. Soft tyres do not refuel. <sighs> Everybody else going for another lap then. Pit stops last forever. Go then. Right, we got ourselves some clear air. We're not stuck in traffic, which is good. Next position is nine seconds ahead. and look after the tyres a little bit as well. One in the pits, P2 in the pits. One pitting quite early on the softs. We made we made that mistake in the previous race, or one of the previous races. Up into P3 then. Both those guys not having pitted yet. out of the pits as either which is good so as long as we can keep building the gap here between the guy behind us as long as we can keep under that eight second, 18 second gap and those guys go into the pits we should be hopefully all right time there. I right, just keep bringing down that time, that's all we need to do, just keep bringing down that time. As soon as they go into the pits, we should be out in front. There into the pits, P1 into the pits. Is P2 going to follow? He certainly is, right? He's into the pits as well, then. We've got P1. Now, they shouldn't beat us uh, back out onto the straight, yeah? Ooh. We 
should be well ahead. We certainly are. Lovely stuff. Eight point six second lead. Bloody hell! It looks like the Audi was the way to go after all that. I've been slagging it off all that time, talking about not having as much power. It's got the top speed though. It just didn't that? It's just it's just not the acceleration between sort of um, second through to uh, well second through to top gear, but the, the actual top speed is there. I feel a bit of a fool now. Five is the fastest lap there as well. Don't think we'll be getting any close to that. Fifty-nine two, bloody hell! We are getting uh, close to fastest lap. In fact, we've got—we're so close to the fastest lap, we've actually got it. What a way that would be to round off the week with a uh, grand slam, pole position, P one, fastest lap. I'm not holding my breath. Oh, we were two tenths up there as well. So I think the earlier pit uh, and not having to contend with any traffic's really actually paid off for us at the minute. Ooh. We're still on for a best. Still on for a best. Eight, seven, we make up four tenths in the uh, oh. bus stop chicane.
lost half a tenth there. CP2 starting to gain a little bit of time there as well. Still 14 seconds in it though, so I would like to think that we should be alright. seven tenths off our own time, our own best there. Are we going to be able to lap somebody? <laughs> Is the question. There we go then, we're about to actually lap someone. We've done it. Nine tenths off the pace that time. Now that P13 as well, we certainly are. How about it? P1, lovely stuff, we will have that, there we are then, what an absolute treat, we started P1, as it stands at the minute we've even got fastest lap which I wasn't expecting, but we started P1, we finished P1, what an absolute treat. Grand slam, pull position, faster slap, and a race win. Lovely stuff. Well, there we are. It turns out, boys and girls, that we should have been in the Audi all week. We've been mucking about with that bloody Toyota, thinking that it was the better car. Everything that I've said was wrong, <laughs> clearly. No, I do think that the Audi is, um, as I say, it just felt as if it was lagging a little bit in the sort of second gear, th well, third gear, up to, to sixth um, and that the um, and that the Toyota just seemed to be um, sort of always have the power there but of course maybe as you put it against top speeds the Audi's got the, the, the nudge on that and so definitely I think setting it for um, for uh, for quali lap seemed to be the right thing to do maybe I should have stuck with it and gone with it a bit earlier on for races as well but you live and learn there we go really really hope you enjoyed this one I know that I certainly did um, managed to get a bit of practice in all week on the Group 1 cars, which has always been a weak uh, spot. So really, really happy about that. But yes, um, really hope you've enjoyed all the videos this week. Uh, if you have done, please make sure to subscribe. Plenty more, as always, on the way. Uh, and plenty more on the channel if you haven't already seen. We've got a boatload of uh, videos just like this one. Full races and uh, a few kind of like episodal, episode type uh, videos as well. Anyways, plenty on the channel. Subscribe for plenty more. Affinityracing.co.uk for merch. And I shall see you in the next video. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, hit subscribe for future videos, future episodes, and more content just like this. 
And while you're down there, make sure you check out our description for links to our merch store to get hold of awesome t-shirts just like this one. Any orders on the merch store goes a long, long way to supporting channels just like this. I also think the t-shirts look pretty cool, so make sure you grab what you can, and I shall see you in the next episode.